Okay, thank you for tuning in to Quick Riffs. I've got a nice simple one here for you today. It's a Johnny Cash song. It is called Hurt, uh, Nine Inch Nails. Have also played this song so you can join the internet argument about which one is better after you learn to play it. Um, it's pretty simple. I'm only going to focus on the main riffs, which is the first three main chords. So it's an A minor, a C chord, and then into a D chord. And what you're going to do is pick the first two notes of each chord and let it ring out. So again, I've chosen a song with a nice, it's nice and forgiving with the changes between the chords because if because you're picking the first two strings of each chord, first two notes of each chord, I should say, you can put down your lower fingers first and then concentrate on the higher fingers while you're picking. So as always, I'll play the riff first quite slowly and then I'll go through it and break it down. Now, tone-wise, this is completely clean. This is my guitar clean into the amp, so I have no effects on this whatsoever. And this, again, this is a great song that you can play on either an electric or an acoustic. So here we go. <laughs> Okay, that's the riff, it's nice and simple. A very important part about playing anything where you've got a clean chord ringing out like this and also that if you're playing some heavily distorted metal song is that the guitar obviously needs to be in tune. It's in standard tuning. Um, a minor. Nothing on the E string. A string you pick but no fingers. Second fret on the D string, second fret on the G string, first fret on the B string and you've got open E at the top. So that is your A minor chord. And the way that you play it in the context of these, this song is you pick the first two strings, your A and your D string, separately, and then play strum the bottom chords. So it's a matter of... That's your A minor. Now to go into the C, what you do, is you actually, the only finger you need to move is your third finger. Your first finger can stay on that fret. You skip over the G string, so this you've got no fingers here. Second finger on the second fret of the D string. Third finger on the third fret of the A string. That's a C chord. So what again, same as the A minor chord, what you're doing is you're picking this string, you're picking the A string, you're picking the D string, strumming the top three strings. So it becomes. Okay. And then we move into the D chord. Okay, now the D chord doesn't have any common notes uh, as the A and the C did. So what you do here, you have your first finger on the second fret of the high E. You have your third finger on the third fret of the B string, and you have your second finger on the second fret of the G string. That's your D chord. Now, as with the other chords, we pick the lowest two. our progression. So, A minor, C, D, A minor, C, D. So, change out to third. And there we have it. Nice simple song that can be played on an electric or an acoustic. Play it cleanly, practice it well because those are the sorts of chord progressions. They're the first chords you learn when you learn to play guitar. So it is something that you will have to get 
used to. And as I said, this song is quite forgiving when you're moving between the chords, so it's a good way of, of practicing. Thanks for watching. Any requests, comments, any songs you'd like me to do, give us a like, a favorite, and send me a message and let me know. Thank you.